welcome CSC 103 class to this is our exercise 7 but it's our HTML CSS exercise that we're going to do with our favorite shows just a little list of favorite shows just to work on some HTML and CSS we're going to work in CodePen so if you're not logged into CodePen you want to log in with your username or your email I seem to have a more luck with my email for some reason and I'm going to log in and when you see these pens that first show up there you can ignore them and you could go right to your dashboard if you need to open up something now when you go to your dashboard you're going to see you're going to see recent things that you've done and that you've saved so we're not actually going to open up one of these but we're going to do something like this one so I'm going to create a new pen and this will go away when you create a new pen and I'm also going to just kind of fix my area here I'm going to minimize my CSS editor which we will use JavaScript we will not use right now and I'll just give myself a lot of room here for my HTML because we're going to start with some HTML I'll try to follow the instructions as best I can but sometimes I, I kind of go out of order a little bit but either way we're going to put all our code that we do for this assignment in body tags so remember we're not doing declarations or titles or head tags or any of that kind of stuff that's typically in a in a standard HTML page we're starting right with the body so I'm going to make sure I put in body tags this will also help us identify and apply CSS properties to anything for the entire body for everything so that's why we're putting that in first you can even put your closing in and it may start to indent but once you finish your body tag it should go back at the same level because it's a closing tag only things that are inside body should be indented so then I'm gonna put an h1 and we're just gonna put a you know a basic little title like my favorite shows I watched recently and close off our h1 tag and again our h1 gets nice and big and bold it's just no specific size just kind of a general size being big and bold from whatever the default is and then I'm also gonna put two paragraphs and I'm gonna go into dummy text generator and I was kinda of messing around with this and I changed this a little bit I'd like to have kind of two paragraphs uh, that are that are equal size maybe even the first paragraph being bigger and I think the original instructions had the first paragraph really small and it looked odd when we made columns so, so I'm gonna use Cicero instead of lorem ipsum and you could you could try any of these things actually even if I go 400 as long as the first paragraph is bigger it, it looked weird when the first one was only like one line or so 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 as long as you have two paragraphs there we're gonna copy these two paragraphs also check display p tags so that you don't have to put in your p tags you could copy it right off of here by doing control C or command C or you could do copy to clipboard and it'll tell you it's copied so if you're not sure and then I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna paste it right after my h1 and my text is a little bit bigger here than you may have on yours and that's okay and so I have my h1 I have my body tag and I have my two P's and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna give our paragraph ID names and they're gonna be used more of an example in this case but they're gonna be used to identify individual paragraphs rather than paragraph general paragraphs so when you we want to target this paragraph the first one we can give it a name and I'll call it left for now or you could you could even call it first maybe I'll call it first I think on the sheet I called it left but you could call it first you could call it anything you want just leave it lowercase don't mess around with capital letters anything like that keep it lowercase so it's P equals f first and it should actually be P I D equals first it should that ID tells it that it's an ID name so it should be P I D and it, there has the spaces between ID the equal sign don't matter this matters because you don't want a, P, a PID there's no HTML element called a PID but it's called a P um, with with the ID attribute and the value of first and then I'm gonna go down here and do the same thing I'll just put ID equals and I'll call it second just to be consistent so I just have two paragraphs and they just have ID names they won't look any different it won't mean anything only when I use CSS to identify those paragraphs I could identify P which will do all the paragraphs or I could say P first with the uh, special symbol that means it's an ID name so it just means that you can identify and apply styling or formatting to certain paragraphs and we'll just do that just to explore it a little bit just to see how IDs work now the next thing we're gonna do and, and you may not know why you're doing this yet but we're gonna do something called a div div is just a kind of a general area in HTML we used to use these a lot before there were you know header elements and nav elements and footer elements and and different kind of uh, more descriptive elements we used to just call things divs and then give them ID names of you know like header footer and things like that but anyway we're gonna call this break because we're gonna use it and again ID equals break not just equals break 
and in quotes, so put your double quotes on, I'm going to do call it break because this will be used to really break our floats. We're, we're just going to do something where we put our two, our two paragraphs in columns and we, in order to get it to work properly, it gets a little tricky so we're going to put a kind of a break div there that will help us divide up the paragraphs and then when our ordered list starts. And instead of just putting an opening div tag, because usually they don't just have one opening tag, I'm going to put a non-breaking space in there which is just an ampersand which a lot of special HTML characters start off with the ampersand and then they have some kind of like code letters and then they finish off with a semi semicolon. Like anything like uh, you know like if you had a copyright I think that's um, ampersand copy or something and th there it is there you can see there's a there's a copyright symbol. But anyway this is called a non-breaking space which can be used to keep spaces between words from breaking those lines. So if you had the Beatles and you didn't want the on one line and Beatles on the next non-breaking space would keep the Beatles together. So anyway, I'm just going to put that in there just as a little placeholder. And I'll finish it off with a closing div tag. So it does need a closing div tag. And you won't see anything there. There'll just be an extra space because it is a block element. So it'll take up like an extra line, almost like a like a one-line paragraph across your, your HTML. But that's okay because we're just going to use it to kind of break up. And, and there'll be other things we could do. But for this exercise, this this will work fine. And then the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to make a ordered list. So I'm going to do an OL and I'll do my closing OL right away so I have it. And then remember inside of your ordered list which is going to be a numbered list we're going to have line items. And I'm just going to make one right now and I'll show you why. And I'm going to put uh, one of my favorite shows or one of the shows I watched recently that I like. That's about it. I'll close up my LI here. And the reason I'm not doing my other two, we're going to make a list of three of these. But the reason I'm just doing one, and I spelled Unabomber wrong, the reason I'm just doing one is because it's going to be easy to do all our links and everything and then just copy and paste it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a link. I'm going to link this. So we're going to put in our A tag. And remember the A has the, has the ref attribute. That means hyperlink reference. And I'm going to put equals. And again, you don't need a space or you can do a space. And I'm going to put double quotes right away. And I can even close it right away. That way I won't forget to close it. And I'll just do a ref equals that. And then after this double quotes, I'm going to put target because we're going to want this too. And again, if you don't want to use a space, you don't have to. And that time it put double quotes for me because there's a bracket there already. And I'm going to use blank. So we already know what that's going to be. Blank does have an underscore in it. And it, these are two separate things that are inside the a tag. There's, it's in the a, the a indicates that it's a link, an opening link tag. And then we have property attribute of and I just jumped right here to w3schools.com because when I'm saying attributes and values and properties and stuff I want to make sure I'm giving you the right terminology here so I went to the HTML section and I went down to attributes and I just want to make sure and I think I was right for the most part but I get it mixed up because CSS uses different terms sometimes they use I think property and value but here with HTML they use attribute so it's the ref attribute and then the value so when we work in code pen and there's anything with an equal signs this is the attribute and then whatever's in quotes is the value so the value that's going to be in here is actually going to be the URL of our show wanted Unabomber and I just want you to go to Wikipedia or Internet Movie Database or wherever you want to go to see that so I'm just going to go here and just search quick for I think it's called wanted and see if it comes up with the show I don't want the actual Unabomber I just want the show man oh it's called Manhunt Unabomber I guess I have the, the show wrong. It's called Manhunt Unabomber. I had wanted. But anyway, it's from 2017. So I'll click on that. And here's the thing about Manhunt Unabombers. I'll just copy the URL. And I'll paste this back. And I'll change the name. Because since it's called Manhunt. And I'll paste in my address. And I could even move this over a little bit. And now you can see that that's linked. And you can see I have an extra space there from that break. And, and that's why I wanted to copy all this stuff because it can get confusing when you have all three at the same time because these URLs can be very long. So, And you just want to make sure that it's you have your quotes around your full URL and then there's a space and then target and then has quotes for the blank uh, value that's in there. And then there's Manhunt Unabomber. And then to, to finish this off so it doesn't keep linking everything, you have to put the closing a tag in there just like we did on the first assignment. So you want to wrap around whatever text is going to be linked with an opening A link that has the ref attribute 
and the target attribute and then it closes and then it closes the li so they're kind of you know stepped together so that everything's in an li the links in there and then the text is in between there so now that i did one of these instead of you know trying to copy and paste all these things in well, i'm going to copy and paste this two more times because that way i have most of my links and everything and most of my uh, syntax finished and it's all in the right order and everything you know works i could click here and make sure it works and there it does everything seems to work but what i'm going to do when I when I go back here is I'm just going to change the name so I'll put in another show uh, I'll put in a show Fortitude is one I watched on uh, Amazon and I'll throw in Hand of God it was another one I watched on Amazon so I'll throw throw in those and then what's going to change is going to be the link because it's still going to the you know that other one so I'm just going to have to paste in the link right inside the quotes everything else will be will be fine. So I'm going to go here and, and first look for fortitude and make sure you put series because sometimes it'll just it'll just search the word. And uh, I'll just there's the Wikipedia, so I'll just use that one and I'll just copy it. And I'll just copy that URL and I'll just copy over right over inside the quote and just paste it in. And if it broke to another line, it it won't break a URL. So that's why that's why it sometimes looks odd and breaks puts the whole thing in the next line. And then I'll also look for hand of God and I'll make sure I put series because it'll just won't give me the show right away. It'll tell me stuff about God. And I'll go to hand of God series and there's the Wikipedia. I could use either one. I'll use the Wikipedia again. And I'll copy that and I'll go back here and I'll just paste that over. And that's the link there. So everything should be okay. I could check these out. Make sure I go to the manhunt. Make sure I go to fortitude. And then make sure I go to the hand of God one and that they're all working. So all my HTML is working right now. And I'll close up these external links. So all my HTML is working. What we're going to do next, now that this works, is we're going to start coloring things like the background and formatting things a little bit differently with our CSS. So our HTML is done, but what I want to do is save this, and I'm just going to call this 7 dash, and I'll call it, we're going to, we did HTML, so I'll call it HTML dash CSS, because we're doing both here. And I'll just call it favorite shows, you know, just so we know which one it is. And you should put your, your last name. It would be nice to have your, your last name first initial and then even this section if you're in C1 put a C1 it's just easier to find uh, as long as you're doing all that so and you could put it you could put a dash here if and that's for your 103 section so if you could put a dash there so so something like that if you don't do it perfect that's okay that, uh, I'm not going to grade you on having the right dash but just just helps identify things a little better just don't keep it as untitled um, so I'm going to save that even though I gave it a name I'm going to save it so that'll get saved in my dashboard if I go to my dashboard but now it's saved so now you could get that anywhere that's saved online. And what I'm going to do next is do the CSS. So I'm going to take a break here and do a part two video of just the CSS.